Brad, tell me what it was like facing off with Pandora. Like, what was, what was going through your head at that point in your memory? He's getting knocked the fuck out. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> the bars, man, in all honesty, I haven't really heard much noise, eh? It's just sort of blocked everything out and just gone into this, this zone. Like, I mean, everyone's coming up and saying, oh, the bars, the bars, the noise, like the chaos. It's all good, man. <laughs> On this side, it's all good, bro. We, we come to the gym, we train, we do our interviews, <laughs> um, and yeah, we're just living it, living it, lot, living it up. Yeah, yeah, you know what, man? Like, I would have thought, like, this is crazy. Like, I can't believe this is happening, but it's not. Like, it's like, it's nothing like that. It's like, I belong here. Like when they're comparing being on the on the banner of Vegas and being at the MGM Grand in front of the everything, it's like I'm not faced. This is like this is where I feel where I belong. You know, it's been a long road to get to this situation, to get to this position, but like it feels like I'm at home finally. You get me? Yeah, there's been some sort of like mindset shift of his where he's just uh, come from like a cub to a full on lion. I think it's more just like a mindset change. He's, he doesn't fear anybody. It's a level of confidence in his own abilities through the hard work that he's put in that he knows that he can take on anyone. And he you know, looks at himself as like a king and I can do anything. So it's really just all just like a mindset change. Yeah, it's like a change of focus, man, you know? Like I was saying before, there's a pit bull right now and, he, and he's on a leash and they're guarding it. They're, they're holding onto this leash as hard as they can. But the leash is gonna come off soon and, and it's gonna attack and it's gonna jump. And that's, that's the exact mood that I'm feeling right now. Yeah, bro, it's quite simple, man. We do the same things over, over, over again. Try to get better, better and better each day. Uh, small little progress. Um, even when things test ourselves mentally, we push through and we come out on the other side even better and even bigger and even stronger and even quicker and even smarter. And we grow as a team and we grow as like as a family. Pandora's really all he's really got is height. Height and long reach. I the way I see Tim handling him is just by bullying the bully. Giving him a taste of his own medicine. He uses his height against him, against his opponents. Tim's gonna use his height against him. He's gonna make him fall harder than he's ever fallen before. Maybe there'll be a hole in the ring. <laughs> exactly, man. Okay, what is it? How tall are you? Uh, 87. Yeah. Like 10, 10 centimeters. Yeah, so lanky, lanky uh, Fandor is 10 centimeters taller, so it's no worries. I've been hitting pads with Eagle for, for a long time now, so height, height has never bothered me. Um, and I've never really fought anyone that's. Uh, shorter than me, you know, in, in all honesty. Never fought anyone in that tall. I don't think there has ever been a 154 pounder that tall. But again, greatness comes from doing stuff that no one else does, and this is part of it. I finally feel at home, man, where I belong, you know. COVID stopped it, put a little dent in it for a long time. But the vision remained the same, um, and we're here now. Bro, tell me what it was like facing off with Pandora. Like, what was, what was going through your head at that point? You know? He's getting knocked the fuck out. That's what I was thinking. Simple. 